Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is Lily, and this is Salty Sharks Fishing Channel. And today we had a plan. We were gonna get some mullet or some pigfish or something like that, and we were gonna go drift to inlet for some reds. We've been, you know, killing it on the pompano and the blues lately. So we wanted to do something different for you guys. And, well, that didn't work out. Nobody had any bait, and I wasn't gonna catch any, and later in the video I'll explain why, but uh, all we could get was shrimp, so, we decided to make a day of it and we get on some fish. So if you want to stick around, check it out, stay tuned. All right guys, since our plans got ruined, we're just fishing with the shrimp today. And uh, we're gonna start out here by the bridge and see what we can get. I'm just throwing shrimp out on a little fish finder rig. And I'll throw out two for good measure. I'm actually kind of just waiting for the tide to turn. It's supposed to be outgoing here shortly. It's pretty much slack right now, so I'm not expecting a whole lot of action right at the moment, but as soon as that current picks up, usually, so does the bite. All right, what do we have here? It's fighting kind of funny. If it's a kitty, I'm moving. <laughs> nope, it is a black grouper. First catch. Man, there's been a ton of these juvenile uh, black grouper around. Man, a little guy, pretty though. These guys need to be like 24 inches. They're not even seasoned right now, but when they are in season, they gotta be like 24 inches long. Well, we're just getting little critters chomping tails off, so I think we're just gonna move on. I thought about, uh, you know, just running around and trying to catch some mullet, because that's the original plan, but um, man, the water's cold. It's like 65 degrees, and uh, you know, I. Spent most of my adult life swimming with penguins and uh, killer whale water. So I'm um, like, I have no desire to deal with the cold water. Man, I, like when you're throwing the net and everything, you just get wet everywhere. You have to stomp around in some shallow water sometimes. So yeah, we'll just stick with shrimp and see what we can make happen. All right, guys, see, I just passed up a bunch of fish signs. So, you know, I'm never going to pass up an opportunity to chuck on them. Oh man, I just saw a whole slew of juvenile tarpon right here. That's kind of one of the things I wanted the mullet for, but I know sometimes they'll eat shrimp. But I'm not really set up for tarpon fishing. <laughs> what are you going to do? See, there are tons of them right there. I'm just freelining shrimp out with a little pinch weight on it, because that's all we have but they'll either chew on them or they won't. All right, well, I'm gonna give up on that tarpon. Sometimes they're chewing, sometimes they're not. And today, they just happen not to be, but or just don't have the right bait. All right, so I see a little fish sign over here by the Coast Guard station, so I'm gonna check down just for a minute and see what's down here. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got? And, oh, look at this, Goliath grouper. Second grouper of the day, and this one's a Goliath. Little baby Goliath grouper, ah! Just lost him. Oh man, get somebody back, back in the water. Oh, little baby Goliath grouper. That's pretty cool. And I figured we'd stop here for a little bit and toss him down and Second grouper of this morning. Oh, what do we got here? It was, what do we got here? This is a nice one. What do we got? Uh, is that a pump? Oh no, it's a spot tail. Spot tail porgy. All 
He's a good eating size too. But, uh, man, and I use, you catch a lot of these in the summertime and I call them the uh, summertime sheep's head because they taste a lot like sheep's head. They have like the teeth, just like sheep's head, you see that? And uh, they eat pretty much the same thing. These are good eating. Uh, I'm not keeping him today, so it's his lucky day. A, little, a spot tail penfish. There you go, buddy. Come on. Fill him nibbling. Come on, buddy, just take it. Whatever. Might be little, little guy. What do you get? Did you get me? No, I got him. I got him that time. Oh, I got him. I got him. And nice mangrove. Nice little mangrove. And he's probably legal, but um, I'm not sure how much fish I'm actually going to keep today. But he he's probably maybe just under. But nice little mangrove. Woo. All right, we'll send another one down. And I'm just using a Mustad 3 odd inline circle hook. Uh, 25 pound liter, little ounce weight on a swivel fish finder rig. Uh, my pin battle 4000 and my ugly stick intercoastal 7 foot medium rod. And I always link all the, you know, my equipment and stuff that I use down in the description area below in case anybody's ever interested. No, I'm getting nibbled right away. Another nice one. Another nice fish. What do we got? He's running. He's running. What do we got here? Oh. Giant belly cuda. Holy crap, that thing's a monster. Look at the size of that thing. And if you're new to the channel, belly cudas are pinfish. Uh, my buddy Ron that just passed away recently, um, he started calling them belly cudas. He had this whole thing on his channel where everybody pitched in and uh, decided to come up with a nickname for it. So I'm calling them belly cudas from now on. Well, as long as they're still chewing here, I'm just gonna hang out here, I guess, for a little while. I was gonna head over to the other side of the inlet because like the current is actually moving that direction but the wind is keeping the boat this direction, which is actually kind of working out right now, but usually it just causes a lot of problems. All right, here we go. Get nibbles. Oh, we got, what do we got here? What is this guy? And oh, puffer, man, we're getting a little variety of everything today. Puffers, spot tail pinfish, Goliath grouper, mangrove snapper. Man, this is holding a little bit of everything today. And it was kind of weird. It's like, you know, I always get comments down in the comment section saying, oh, the Coast Guard station always holds, you can always catch redfish there. You can always, it always has fish there. I mean, there's so many times when I stop here and there's like nothing. And sometimes you get here and there's, it's loaded with fish. So there's no such thing as always. All right, got another, another nice one. What do we got here? And another spot tail. A little, it's a little smaller this time. But you can see those crazy teeth right there. Just like sheep's head. Well, I just scooched up a little bit here. See if we can get anything on this side. What do we got here? Another little guy, but, oh, black sea bass. Man, we are racking up on the species today. Black sea bass. They're so pretty. They got these little white uh, marks on the top of their fin. They're delicious though. These gotta be 13 inches uh, to keep. So this is way too small. But uh, like I said, we're really not keeping much fish today. We are just uh, out here having a good time. And if you are having a good time, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy mess. Really appreciate you guys coming along with us and giving this video a big thumbs up. 
lets us know you, you really care about the content that we're creating. So thank you so much and we'll get back to it. What do we got here? What do we got? And another puffer. And all kinds of crazy stuff down here. Puff up, puff up. I know, buddy. There you go. Crazy. Go. This one's a little more decent. What do we got? Oh, that's a nice uh, Margate. Man, we are chalking up the species left and right. Every everything. This is a black Margate, and these guys have no regulations. But they taste a lot like sheep's head too. They they hang around, and eat the barnacles and stuff like that. But I usually uh, keep them when they're like a little more sheep's head size, like bigger. But this is a little guy, black Margate, in case you didn't know, and uh, they're delicious. Uh, like I said, the bag limit's usually like about 100 pounds, but there's no size limit or like, you know, count, so a bag limit. But hey, we're keeping busy here. And I didn't buy a lot of shrimp today too either, so, because um, my first plan didn't work out, I was just like, oh, well, I'll just come out and make a, you know, day of it, just see what I can, see what, if I can find something a little different to catch and uh with the shrimp and so and that's what we're doing catching all kinds of crazy stuff down here there's another nice one there's another nice one what do we got this time another spot tail pretty these guys are yummy don't turn your nose up at them just because they're unregulated. There's a lot of unregulated fish that are delicious. All right, let's see what's on this side of the boat. This is a nice, another nice fish. Just don't lose this guy. And another spot tail. Nice. All right, he's going back. Couple more shrimp and we're done. All right, dropping down my last shrimp. He's dead, a little mushy. Hope they don't steal him. All right, that's that's my last shrimp. What do we got? Oh, mangrove. Oh, my last shrimp. So a pretty little mangrove. He's not a keeper size. He's probably just under, yeah, he's about nine and a half. But we found some good eating fish here today. You know, the margates, the spot tails, the mangroves, those are all good eating fish. Now that's the last fish. You know what time it is guys, and it's the best part of the video. All right, for you guys that are new to the channel, this is what we call island time. All right, Lily. Best time of the day. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our day. Uh, you know, forget the plan. Just come out here, have a good time. 
everything doesn't happen always the way you wanted to. You know, the, the bait shop didn't have any uh, mullet or anything else, just shrimp. So that kind of threw that out the window and we just went to back up and having a good day. Lily got out on the island. Glad you guys came along with us. If you did enjoy this channel, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, let you know when all our videos come out. Please give this video a big thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. And uh, you know, we'll always love the positive comments and feedback down in the comment section below. And thank you so much. And also I'm a charter captain out of Ponce Inlet. If you want me to take a fishing, visit saltystrikesfishing.com. You can book your trips there. And uh, until we see you next time, guys, stay salty.